today I am showing the Rick Rack rib in the round. And as you can see here, it kind of zigzags back and forth. So you have such as going this way and this way, back and forth like that. Right here I'm showing a purl two and then this is knit two. It's not exactly the same as the Rick Rack rib would be knitted flat or knitted back and forth but it's very close to the original and it creates a similar effect. Here I'm showing it in my Moroccan textured slouchy hat and I will be working another one of my hats in a different color here. Like I said here I'm doing a purl 2 knit 2 stitch and here's what it looks like if you do a purl 1 knit two. It's a lot tighter of a rib. The reverse side is very pretty too. If you can see here, these would be my pearls and that would be the rickrack part. All right. You can find my textured slouchy hat on Ravelry, Craftsy, or on my website. So let's get started. All right, so I'm starting off with my purl two. And then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to work these two stitches and you're going to knit in the back loop here of your first stitch or of the second stitch technically. And then you're going to go and knit in the front of your first stitch. So you might have to kind of divide them with your fingers. It's a little tricky at first, but the more you work it, the easier it gets. Also try to make sure when you're doing the knit stitches that you don't knit too tight and it'll make your other rows a lot easier. All right, so here I'm purling two. Go in the back loop of your second stitch. And I'm letting it go real loose right there. Then I'm dividing my stitches and going in that first loop there. Purl two, back loop, divide my stitches, front loop of the first one and then sliding both of those two stitches off. So regular purl two. Your back loop again. Don't slide anything off, divide your stitches and knit into that first stitch. Slide those two off. So that was the end of my row. So now I'm going to do the second row. Rick Rack Rib is a series of two rows knit over and over. Here you can kind of see it in my solid color here. So second row, you're going to go purl two again. And then you are going to knit normal into that second stitch. This one's kind of tricky because you don't want to poke your needle through both stitches. You just want to hit this first stitch, this first stitch here. So this one actually to me is a little trickier than the first one. So knit that through, divide your stitches and then knit in the first stitch. So this one, as you can see, it creates, it leans to the right. So when you knit the stitch in front, it's going to lean to the right, whereas the first row leans to the left, as you can see here. So that if you set your work down and you pick it back up, you'll know which row you were on. So the first row where you knit in the back first leans left. Second row where you knit in the front leans right. So 
back to the second row, purl two, knit in that, knit normal in the second stitch, making sure not to catch that first stitch, and then going back and knitting in that first stitch. Sorry, my dog is whining. Purl two, knit into that second stitch, go back and knit into that first stitch. All right, last four stitches on my needle, purl two, knit into the second stitch. That stitch was a little too tight for my previous row. Then knit into your first. All right, and that's all there is to it. You just knit those stitches over and over for as long as you'd like, and it creates your little zigzag. And if you have trouble counting your rows, you can always turn it around and count your rows this way, since you have a nice just knitted stitch from your purl rows. So that's the work rack rib. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.